he's he's just lovely. He's adorable. Um, he's a big guy. Um, and I'm quite a small guy, so it's quite fun playing someone so big. It's a film about a dragon um, and, and a good friend who are, I think find themselves a little bit frustrated about the current events and where they are and, um, and, and feel that they want more from life. And so they embark on this adventure to try and find more to life and, and a better life for them and their friends and family. Um, and they're on a mission to try and find the, this elusive rim of heaven. And along the, journey, along the way, they, um, they meet friends and family and they get to travel and experience the world. I like the character. I thought he was just unapologetically himself and um, uh, just quite straightforward and matter of fact and um, uh, you know determined and, 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 and kind of brave without knowing it. So I can't even travel around my own country at the moment. So when this does open up a little bit more, I think the first step to do is going to actually have a nice road trip through my own country, which is England. I want to drive up. I've never really explored England ever before. I've always gone further afield. So I want to do that and go up into Scotland, go around the Highlands, spend some time up there because I'm half Scottish, and then come back down the other coastline. I'd say trust and friendship, trust in friendship, trust in others. Um, it's something that I'm, I'm a little bit guilty of sometimes. Is um, I always try and do things. Um, well, I can't. I had a tendency to do things myself. I like to do. If I want to do a job, I'd like to do it myself because I, I think I'll do the best job at it. But that's not always true. Sometimes there are people who are better at things than you, and admitting that is a little bit of a pride thing. Um, but once you do, you realize that life's just a collaboration and everyone is good at certain things. And when you all work together, that's how, that's how a society really works. Um, and when you do, it's lovely and it's beautiful and it makes you feel better at the things that you are really good at. I don't know, I haven't looked at emojis in a long time. It's been several updates, so I'm sure I'm really quite out of date with what's even available. Um, is there a dragon emoji? I don't know how you do, Ryder. Is there a motorbike? Okay, well then a dragon and a motorbike, done. <laughs> I did always like the Jungle Book. The Jungle Book and Aristocats. Um, and of course, Toy Story. Yeah. Um, funny enough, they're all animations as well. Um, well, I, I love the, like, the old beautiful pictures of um, Jungle Book and um, a little boy in the jungle and sometimes it's scary sometimes it's amazing and um, got these big scary animals but the big wonderful bears as well i just i just thought it was beautiful and and the vultures referencing the beetles and there's lots of great stuff in there and then the snake who i was as a kid i was like fascinated because it, it's the same voice as winnie the pooh and that just kind of it's like how i think he's a he's a good guy um, are perhaps a little naive at times. Um, is not aware of that there is such a thing as a lie. I don't think he's really aware of that. Um, these human traits, I suppose. I think we can learn to trust our gut instinct and to um, strive for things to be better than just what's out there and what's available and what's easy. Um, we can learn to be better for one another uh, it's not just a purely selfish thing. And explore. Don't be afraid to explore. And find things that are new, challenging, and perhaps scary. And learn to love that. Great fun. He's, he's just lovely. He's adorable. Um, he's a big guy. Um, and I'm quite a small guy. So it's quite fun playing someone so big. He's, you know, he's just blown away by everything. Um, so he's, he's, um, he was very fun to play. He's very sweet. Gentle giant. He starts out more childlike, which is not a bad thing. That's the thing that encourages him, motivates him to set out on this crazy adventure. Um, but I think it's through his experiences and what he sees and what he learns and who he meets that um, helps shape and round him into a, a more kind of complete version of himself. And he's also gained the respect of many, many others, many peers, 
who kind of look down at him initially. Um, so I think he feels proud in himself that he's actually taught them something, shown them something that's made th things better for them too. Um, and so it's given him confidence within himself that um, he was right to think that certain way and to go on this adventure. Um, and so next time around when he comes up with an idea, I think he'll have more confidence in his self-belief and his, and his gut and he'll, his intuition and he'll go with that. It's always a challenge to bring something to life just using your voice, but I enjoy that. Um, yes, on screen, you've got your eyes, you've got your, um, you know, you've got everything. You've got everything to work with. In voiceover, you've only got your voice. Um, so it's quite fun and it's a good challenge and a good bit of practice to be able to nourish your voice with layers of character um, and work with you know, the director, work with the sound engineers and and everyone involved to help kind of fine tweak those little, little sounds and little nuances and differences that make all the difference. So it's fascinating. I, I love doing that. It's a good challenge and it's something different. Um, I, it's just fun.